Hello everyone and welcome to EU4 from Mother Russia. Well, just so everyone knows, I have obviously restarted, and that is due to the fact that the Cossacks update came out. So I couldn't play my previous game. And then I recorded this again with the Cossacks update, and then they came out with the bug patch that I've completely forgot they usually do. So, uh, yeah, lost that one too. So, <laughs> We're just starting here fresh, which is fine, because we made some mistakes along the way with our original thing that we can fix. Like managing manpower. Of course, rival Denmark. Let's rival the Golden Horn. And with the Cossacks update, there's a bunch of new interesting things, so that's always good. Now, of course, conquer Novgorod. Best option here. Just give me free cores and stuff on everything. Let's buy our advisors. Turn down my game volume. Keep this focused, because we're going to need a ton of admin power. Uh, diplomatic reputation is great. That's a really good one to get morale of armies. That's good, too. Okay, first things first. We are going to improve relations with Poland. And since Novgorod will never make any friends, we're going to immediately declare war on them as well. On top of that, improve relations with Sweden. Because I want all of that. Sweden can have all this. They can have Norway and Denmark and whatever, but I want all of that. Poland can even have all of that. And now then, as for everything else... <clears throat> See, look, here's the new stuff. There's estates and so on. They have power and all these other different cool things. It's actually really awesome. Excuse me. And they give you bonuses depending on how loyal they are and stuff. I obviously have a bunch of subjects, too. And they changed everything like this. You can now grant them provinces and more. Which is huge, because I could just grant them provinces that I take from Novgorod or something like that, so I get free wars on them later. I just spend Diplo points instead. Which I will probably fall behind on diplomatic power. I'll probably never worry about patriarch authority ever in my life. Now then, let's check 22 out of 29. How much cash are we making now? Enough to where we can get probably enough soldiers, so... 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28... 29. Alright, good. Now, of course, we have our lovely god general, Dmitry Shemaika. We're gonna have to, uh, our noble is terrible. Dmitry will, of course, be leading the armies there. We shall be moving our troops into offensive positions. And then we shall start the game. First things first, Perm, you're technically my largest vassal, so here's a royal marriage. Ah yes, let's also jump up the speed to speed three. Yo, Slavi. Slavo, come on now. Diplomat, I need you to get home. Thank you. Another royal marriage for you, good sir. Now there's the whole favor system with allies, which is interesting. <clears throat> and Piskov. You can't have a royal marriage because you're a republic. Fair enough. Ryazan. I almost want to offer them an alliance just so they don't go ally with anybody, but I think I'll just fabricate claims. <coughs> <coughs> nah. Take a drink. What do you mean, provincial unrest? Declining power of the boyers. Okay, I'm okay with them losing influence. Ah, Kazimov apparently has somewhat unrest because of the whole Sunni thing. Yeah. Don't worry, we'll fix that right up. We're probably not going to be making too much cash after we form all the armies up, but that's alright. Okay, supply limit is 14 in winter in those two provinces, so... First things first. In fact, you know, no. Just send one of these troops here, and then send a cavalry detachment. Send another cavalry detachment, and then the troops. <clears throat> and there we are. We are ready to declare war on Novgorod already, who has no friends, because everyone always hates them. I know, it's sad. 
Oh, of course. Let's adjust our stance with people. Poland. We are friendly. Sweden. We are friendly. And there you go. That's an awesome system that I love. Novgorod, apparently we, we're rivals, right? So we don't even get options to that kind of stuff. But it's still cool. Now then. Are you ready for the attack? We're going to take the guy off of Sweden, because that one's less important, considering they're a vassal of Denmark, and they probably will be for some time. I'm really actually hoping that they lose their first independence war. That way they don't try to expand into Novgorod. I also love this, you can now threaten war for provinces, and, they, and they'll just give it up. However, we don't want to do that, because we want to take a lot more. Of course, Novgorod, their capital, is our target. All right, troops, let's move in. Okay, let's just leave one of you behind. This one dude can go over there. You can move in. We will cross a river if we do that, huh? All right, we'll stay right here for right now. See what they do. They're gonna sit right on home, all right? I mean, let's see here. They're right, they'll arrive there on the what of July? The 14th, and they'll arrive there on the 11th. So the fight will start with our amazing general, and then we shall outnumber them and proceed to crush them. Perfect! Yep, just run around and start occupying territory, gents. Okay, the general's army lost the most troops, so for right now, just move out of there. Practically wiped out their army. Look at that. Just start occupying provinces. In fact, I probably shouldn't even have my guys do it. I'll just let my vassals do most of the occupation. Because that's the way we do these things. To there! I should really fabricate a claim on you and just take over you very quickly. But you're a small little one province area there that shouldn't really be there. <clears throat> After all, we are fighting in the name of Mother Russia. Also, this fort... You can go ahead and stop funding that fort. We're okay there. Same with... I'm gonna leave Gallic, just because, but... Otherwise... Nope, we're fine. <clears throat> we'll also eventually get access to the coast through here, so that'll be good. Nah, I sound like I'm sick, but I'm not, really. <laughs> Alright, they just got troops kind of moving around there. How's the siege going? You know, I almost want to just leave the minimum amount of troops needed for the siege, and then I'm just going to move those guys over there. Let's just move the general in a position to where he can support everybody as quickly as possible in case this stack of 12 decides to attack anybody. <clears throat> Although, I'll be honest, I'm not entirely worried about them. You never know. Apparently, I now have conquest on reason. Oh, yes, because I was fabricating a claim on them. Of course. Now for one on Tula. Poland, let me know when you want to do an alliance, man. Well, obviously we're at war, so they don't want to do it now, but... Whenever they're ready. Okay. February 13th, huh? February 12th. Okay, I actually can't get in there to support the things from there, so... That is interesting. Yep, you know what? Just get in there. Move on in. Why can't you? Why can you not move? <laughs> What's going on? Move 
human is blocked by a freaking four. Grrr. Okay, go down there. You move in. We're gonna get him. Even though we're losing tons of manpower to do it. <sighs> Where are they headed to? That direction? Just in case. <laughs> now very paranoid. Alright, you guys move into there. I hate hostile forts blocking land movement so much now. It's an interesting idea, but... Urgh. Okay, thank goodness. Land movement blocked by hostile fort, for the love of God. Vassals, you can deal with them. Well, I can't move in for some reason, so you know, that's always lovely. I almost want to assault. Ah, perfect. Eh, it'll take them a while to actually break through there, so... Until then, you move there. And you know what, they'll probably surrender very quickly. Their war enthusiasm is medium. Oh, now it tells me their war enthusiasm? Nice. It's actually an excellent thing that they've added there. Keep on moving. I just need to occupy up some territory here. Yeah, look at my vassals, they're doing a beautiful job. And as soon as this thing falls, which will be glorious, then we'll be okay. Otherwise, I'm actually operating my manpower fairly okay, because we lost a lot of it in that battle, and I purchased a lot of troops. In fact, really, anything I could do to probably get bonus manpower recovery would be good. So who would I go to for that? The Boyers. Let's see, if their loyalty... It goes up to 15 still, but it's land maintenance while fire is down, otherwise. Ah, good, Poland is gone with the Commonwealth. Excellent. Poland, how would you like a royal marriage? I think you would. Rain them in? Yeah. Get the money. I don't plan on a... You know, doing anything super special in that regard. Alright, move in. Let's see here. As soon as possible, I'm going to get that alliance. I don't even know if the Great General will need assistance, because uh, he's not taking any not negative effects. Honestly, after this fight, we pretty much have 100%. Uh, you know what? Why am I fighting them anymore? I'll take this. Alright, first things first, actually. It's time to do a little bit of organization. This is going to go to... Which one is this? Biscov. First things first, that's going to Piskov. And then, you know, on top of that, this is going to Piskov. So, give those to them. I shall take this. Oh, you aren't going to accept, really? Will cost a ton of what? Oh, it'll cost 331 to make all the ceded provinces cores, I see. Aggressive expansion, not all that worried about that. And yeah, I'll take your money. I'll uh, take war reparations. And uh, maybe one more province. And apparently they won't accept it, though, right now because of uh, ongoing battles. Alright, fair enough. Lose it, and then we'll do this. Okay, you just lost. Now, can we talk? Perfect! Send demands. Excellent. That takes a ton of admin power, but it's worth it. Stop funding the fort.
Wow, all these things take a crap load of admin power. Alright. Otherwise, everyone, yeah, spread out over there and you're good. Oh, you know what I should do? <clears throat> mm, they don't border it, though. Ah, Kazan and the Tribal Feud. Alright, fair enough. Oh, also... Yes, have your local autonomy. <clears throat> we don't need any rebellions rising up, thank you very much. Oh, hey, Poland! You want that alliance? Excellent. Sweden. We can still be great friends. Pskov. And Perm. Perm's fine, I should really improve relations with Pskov, though. Actually, you know what I should do? I should just declare war on Tver. And I shall, as soon as I move my troops just into a little bit better position. Nizhny Novgorod, go and not worry about the fort there. Moscova, no matter what, it has a fort because it's the capital. It's just not going to be a strong one without that being funded. Gallic, it's fine. Let's just start making money. Alright, we're going to move right up in there. And we're going to declare on Tver. Move in, gents! Yeah, we got them. They're screwed. <laughs> and now I let the vassals siege it. <clears throat> Perfect. See, Yaroslavl will take the siege, and I'll just move my guys out. Perfect. And Yaroslavl will get the, uh, Tver province, and all will be happy. Well, maybe not the Tveran people, but, mm, you know. What they want isn't important to me. Ryazan, how are you? Is a vassal of the Golden Horde? Oh, wow. Interesting. Well, Golden Horde, I know exactly what I'm going to do when I get a war with you. Speaking of which... Fabricate some claims. I can only fabricate one. Just fabricating claims on everybody. And, uh, yes, continue making a ton of admin power. Also, my next ruler is great in administrative ability. That's excellent. National unrest is good, unjustified demands is good. We're gonna want all of those. I said cancel the Novgorod fort. Pskov is now acting as a complete barrier with the Livonian Order. They now cannot declare war on Novgorod, I think. Well, they can for Neva, because it's in the same sea province, Gulf of Finland. However, I'm doubtful they'll really get a chance to do that there in the Livonian Order before uh, good old Poland wants to take them over. Poland, my lovely, lovely ally. Who desires Rezev? Sorry, you guys can't have that. I know Lithuania has a core on it, but you can't. And this is how you manage manpower. Look at that. Just have the vassals siege it. Let's see, how much did the Golden Horde lose? Did they lose anything? I'm sure everybody's gonna end up ganging up on them. But then again, they are allied to Uzbek, the great power over there. Huh. Tribal feud is that Casa's belly. Kazan, you are at war with the Golden Horde, Ryazan, and no guy. Yeah, Kazan's getting ganged up on. You know what, man? I gotta get in on that. Stop fabricating claims on the Golden Horde, fabricate claims on Kazan. <laughs> they have perm, so I can always declare for that, but I gotta get in on this. Everyone beat up Kazan. Oh, perfect. The war with Tver. Okay, let's make it occupied by Yaroslavl. Oh, I have to uh, have a diplomat, of course. What was I thinking? Come back from Perm. It'll take him a few days, so I guess, whoops, they'll just have to occupy. Oh well! Oh no, your province is being looted! How sad! Mine. 
Also, give me all your cash. 